Welcome to the R&D section of the Executive Development Program, or EDP. In this video, we'll introduce you to the key responsibilities of the R&D department, show you how to enter decisions and navigate the interface, and identify the steps needed to complete this section of the EDP. First, let's take a look at the purpose of the R&D department. The department is primarily responsible for two things, managing existing products and creating new products. Your success in R&D depends on your ability to balance these responsibilities while communicating effectively with other departments. Let's take a look at the R&D interface and identify how to use the different areas of the page. In the center of the page is the product section. Here you'll make all decisions regarding your product line, including updating existing products, creating new products, and even retiring products that you've deemed obsolete. Let's take a look at how you actually enter decisions for R&D. Here you can change your product specifications. Your customers are focused on four aspects of your product, speed, accuracy, service life, and age. Imagine that you want to make a faster product. First, assess the current speed of your product, then enter a larger number into the blue speed box and click enter or recalculate. Your product is now changed, and you have a new age and release date identifying when your updated product will hit the market. In addition to seeing your product speed, age, and revision date change, you can also see the product move on the right side of the interface on the perceptual map. The perceptual map is a tool that displays your product speed and accuracy coordinates and where your product falls compared to where your customers are located. Each of the circles represents a group of customers with similar preferences for speed and accuracy. Each circle represents a market segment. This segment represents budget customers. This segment represents performance customers. Customers in each segment have unique buying preferences and your product speed and accuracy coordinates are only part of those. For a more detailed explanation of the perceptual map, please see page 11 of the Manager's Guide. The remainder of the interface is designed to provide you with more information to help you make your decisions. Now that we've covered R&D's responsibilities and how to navigate the decision screen, let's take a look at what you can expect from the EDP. After this introductory video, you'll read a short case study based on the failures of a fictional company Decadon Electronics. You will be presented with tasks to correct Decadon's errors on the R&D decisions page that we just reviewed. Each task will have an explanation as well as a walkthrough tool if you need any guidance. There are two goals on the decision page. One, navigating the R&D interface, and two, successfully completing the tasks. Upon completion, you'll be debriefed in the 2020 review, where you have a chance to go back and adjust your decisions if needed. Finally, to reinforce the key takeaways of R&D, there's a five question quiz with immediate feedback at the end. From there, you've completed your rotation in the R&D department and it's on to the next step in your career. It's time for you to get started. Good luck.